Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com. Here's my phone number and my website. I have another Heathkit SP200. Very busy here, cranking out as many as I can. Giving each amplifier the same attention as the next. So, your variables look good. Rotor switch looks good. You know, band switch. I'll change the meter lamp bulb. I'll put meter protection diodes across the meter. Change the plate blocker. Change the parasitic suppressors. I will compress these a little bit so they have a good connection on the tube anode connection. I will compress the clips on the tube sockets, clean the inner part of the clips. I will change the 33 ohm grid loading resistors, the 200 puff caps, the input SO239 connector that was added has no grip on the PL59 at all, so that'll get changed. The wire going from the input connector to the TR relay which was changed is very rigid so it it uh, causes the relay to not easily engage so I will change that with a more flexible wire so oil the fan and uh, also the what is it? The uh, 20 microfarad cap has been changed, but not the 2 uh, microfarad cap, so I will change that cap. And uh, clean the rotary switch for the multimeter. And I'm sure I'm missing something, so I'm, I'll, I'm also going to change the plug on the end of the cord. So I'm going to look the rest of it over. If there's anything I missed, I will mention it in the next video when it's all done. So, stay tuned. Here's my contact info once again. See you in a bit. Okay, I'm back with the completed amplifier. So, went ahead and changed the meter lamp bulb. Put diodes across the meter movement, reverse connected. Already had the Harbach filter cap board kit. Citron tubes are in here. They don't test match, matched, but they're close. Replaced the parasitic suppressors. Rewound new Allen Bradley 2 watt carbon comp resistors. And so that's all set. Air variables looked good. Rotary switch good. So went ahead and changed the grid loading resistors. I changed the mica caps. All the input coils were good. Input caps, all good. I compressed the socket clips a little bit with the tubes out. I cleaned them with deoxy gold. I had to change one of the mica cap. Well, I'm sorry, one of the ceramic disc caps down here. You can't see it. One of the legs was snapped off. One down underneath here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that orange one down there. Change the plate blocking capacitor. Yeah, I'll flip it over and show you the bottom. I am back here with the bottom. Oiled the fan. I replaced the SO239 connector. He had two screws in it, and the PL59 just slid right in and out, so I put a high quality Teflon dielectric silver plated one in. Replaced the wire from the connector over to the relay. Looked a lot more flexible, so now it easily engages and disengages. Uh, a lot of bad solder joints over here, so I touched those all up. Bad, a couple bad ones over here I touched up. I'm waiting on that cap. When it gets here, I will change it. Touched up on the solder joint over here. And uh, clean the, the uh, rotary switch with deoxygold. Clean the input rotary switch with deoxygold and the output, you know, band switch with deoxygold. So, that's about it. Thing works great. If you need an amplifier repaired, please give me a call. It's Amp Repair Guy. My phone number is 203 892 4119. That's 203 892 
4119 and the website is ampreparegui.com. If you like the video, please hit the like button and share and subscribe. Take care.